Hey guys, I want to talk about the illusion of the future-proof language. So I'll just jump right to the point. If you're coding in any of the top 10 or 15 programming languages today, you're fine. Because the principles and the techniques of any of these languages will transfer 100% to another. And in fact, when you become an experienced developer, you will stop thinking in terms of languages. You start looking at the languages not as your personal identity, but the languages are just tools like a hammer or a screwdriver or a wrench. You don't use a hammer to work on pipes. You work, use a wrench for that. You don't use a wrench to hammer in nails. You use a hammer for that. Same thing with the programming languages. You use a language or use a framework or a library specific to the job. So as I've told people on many occasions on this channel, when I was freelancing, I would go into a job with no expectations about what language I was going to use or what database I was going to use. I would just say, okay, what's the need of the job, depending on the technology that they already have implemented, depending on what they need to get done. And then I would choose a technology stack accordingly. There is no perfect language. There is no language that is necessarily uh, better than the other. So there's no future-proof language, right? Because they're all future-proof to a great extent. So I'll give you an extreme, extreme example. Worst case scenario happens once every 10 years, maybe, if that long, if that, maybe longer. Flash Action Script. At one point, Flash Action Script was very, very popular. I don't know if it was, it was pretty popular. Everybody, a lot of people were writing Flash, Flash-based applications for web apps. And ActionScript, of course, was the programming language of Flash. Then one day in around 2011, Steve Jobs essentially put a, a stake through the heart of Flash. That was the beginning of the end of Flash ActionScript. And shortly thereafter, that was it. It was over. Action scripting and action script is done. You you may find one job every now and then in that. Although, again, that's just a dead technology. It happens. Uh, there's other dead technologies like Delphi and others. That being said, all those flash action, action scripters were not finished. It's not like, oh, no, I, le I learned, I know flash action, action script and that's it. I'm done. Oh, I can't do anything else. And of course not. They easily pivoted into JavaScript or into Python or into... Uh, they could go into TypeScript, they could go into Java, C Sharp. Why? Because the principles and many of the techniques uh, and the constructs in the action script programming language translated 100% to all these others. So it was no big deal. In fact, an experienced action script programmer could probably get a job and s probably transition to another job within a few weeks to a month of training. That's it, maybe two, three months max. So the need for the future-proof language is an illusion. It's a, it's, a, it's a notion contrived by, invented by inexperienced, noobish developers or wannabe developers. Experienced developers know there's no such thing because it doesn't matter. If you're a programmer, you are future-proofed regardless of the language you happen to be coding in. So don't worry about it. This is a positive message to you. If you're worried about choosing the wrong tech, the wrong language, you're, you're worried about getting a future-proof language, this is, a, this is a worry without a basis, right? It's a worry without a basis. That's why I'm trying to dispel this myth that some languages are more future-proof than others. This is it's silly because they're universal. That being said, some languages do go away, like ActionScript, and some languages become very, 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 very minor marginalized and specialized, like COBOL. But there's still jobs in COBOL. You know, that's like, you know, 800-year-old language. There's still jobs in that, if you can imagine. So I wouldn't worry too much. It's not a big deal. When you become an experienced developer, every language is the programming language that you use. So it makes no difference.